hi pupils class 5 i welcome you all to our science lesson our lesson today is uh, animals last time we talked about classification of animals whereby we said that animals are classified into two that is vertebrates and uh, invertebrates we said vertebrates are animals with a backbone whereby we said vertebrates are classified into warm blooded whereby we said that is constant body temperature cold blooded firing body temperature Warm blooded we talked about mammals and birds cold blooded we talked about the reptiles fish and uh, amphibians we said vertebrates are animals with a backbone which runs from the head to the tail today you want to see birds characteristics of birds when you are in class 4 the teacher defined for you what is a characteristic whereby he said characteristics the behavior that is shown by an animals and the animals they have different uh, characteristics birds characteristics of birds one their feet are covered with scales two they are warm blooded when we talk about warm blooded we mean their body temperature is con constant does not change three the female and the male usually mate and the, thus the female will lay already fertilized eggs so we say the eggs are fertilized internally four they have wings for what purpose wings to fly five they have claws and uh, talons six they are uh, covered with feathers that is their body lastly they have beaks for feeding not these pupils most of the birds use their wings to fly birds that fly include the parrot the parrot dove weaver bird eagle hawk vulture and the crested crane pupils birds that are not able to fly are called flightless birds flightless birds they are unable to fly they can't fly and they include ostrich kiwi and uh, the penguin number 3 reptiles reptiles characteristics of reptiles reptiles remember they are cold blooded meaning their body temperature varies changes characteristics of uh, reptiles are as follows they have four limbs except the snake they have dry scales they are uh, cold blooded they lay fertilized eggs that is their eggs are fertilized before being laid they have internal fertilization when we talk about internal fertilization the male and the female they mate so they lay already fertilized eggs reptiles breathe through the lungs pupils some examples of reptiles include the snake tortoise chameleon tato alligator 
crocodile, lizard, and uh, gecko. Pupils to hide from these pred predators. Predators is another name for enemies. For example, a chameleon changes its color to match its surrounding. If it is in a green background, it will change to look as if it is green. It is green so that whenever the predator or the enemy comes across, it is unable to spot the chameleon. Such behavior of changing color is called camouflage. Camouflage is the ability or tendency of a chameleon to change it is color. Number four, ambivians. Characteristics of ambivian pupils are as follows. They have external fertilization. The adult ambivians breathe using lungs, moist skin, and the mouth cavity. Whereas, the young ambivians use external gills to breathe for breathing. Pupils, the young ambivian is called third ball. Characteristic number three, they lay unfertilized eggs in water that is there, that is, their eggs have to be fertilized by the male once laid on the water. Characteristic number four of ambivians is they live partly on land and partly in water. Characteristic five, they have moist skins. Characteristic number six, they are cold blooded. Some examples of ambivians are frogs, salamanders, thoughts and uh, newts pupils we move to number five fish characteristics of fish they live in water two they are covered with skulls Three, they lay unfertilized eggs in water. That is, their eggs are fertilized by the male once laid. Characteristic number four, they have external fertilization. Six, they breathe by means of internal gills. Seven, they have fins. Eight, they are called braided. Note this, take this into consideration. Some of the examples of fish include the shark, tilabia, Nile barge, omeno, commonly known as daga, and throat, pupils, jellyfish, and the starfish are not true fish. Pupils, up to that point, we have come to the end of our, our science lesson, whereby we have looked on characteristics of birds, characteristics of reptiles, characteristics of ambivians and the characteristics of uh, fish. Those ones, plus what we had said earlier, they are what we call vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with the backbone. Inshallah, next lesson, we are going to have a look on uh, in vertebrates. Nephatabrates, these are animals without backbone. Go through the lesson, understand the characteristics of 
each and their next lesson inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh